Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here with my Miss Paint a Lot Take 5 challenge for this week. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Miss Paint a Lot, who is Fiona, she has a junk journal group on Facebook called Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal Group. And she sets a challenge every Tuesday where she will specify five items sometimes she tells you what you have to make sometimes she says make whatever you like and as long as you use those five items you can use anything else you want and this week the five items were music paper a butterfly washi or a washi sticker lace and a paper clip or a bulb pin i put clip it's pin bulb clips slash pin yeah um i'm just thinking now fiona made a tag I think you can make anything you want this week. I hope you can, because I've not made a tag. Uh, I have actually made a couple. I did film it, but yeah, memory were full on phone. Then I deleted it, trying to make some room on my phone. Uh, oh, I don't understand phones. It's all too technical for me. Luckily, my technical department were at home, uh, homeschooling this week. And <clears throat> yeah, I now know how to not delete things forever <laughs> and how to free up my memory so anyway i'll show up about that so what i decided to make was one of these altered paper clips now the reason i made one of these is because if you watch my recent video where i was showing you all the rubbish on my desk and and also the bead dangle video in my little pot of bead dangles i showed you i had this one which is a paper clip wrapped with paper and some pearls on. You can attach it to your project with a bulb clip and it's got a little bead dangle on the bottom. It's quite cute. It's quite quite a decent size, these. I'll measure that. I think the paper clip, yeah, it's a two inch paper clip I've used, or one and three quarter, is it? No, two inch. Then you've got some dangles about another one and a quarter, then your bulb clip. So in total, the length of that is three and three quarter inches so that's quite a substantial little dangle so yeah so i decided i'm going to use bits off my desk and <clears throat> yeah i'm going to use the dangles that i started making in my video the other day after i made the dangle video i carried on and made a load more so i've got quite a few in my little jar now so as i've already made one my desk's already messy with bits all over it you don't see much of that though because I'm zoomed quite in today with it being a small project so let's get started right there's my music paper I'll just pop these out of the way there's my music paper the butterfly I chose to use which you can see on that one it's a bead and bling well it's pearl and bling butterfly these are from Marianne Design. I know they're hard to see, but I think it's worth it. You can see the little glint. So that's my butterfly. I've got my straw paper. Uh, I've got a selection of different washi tapes out. I went for this floral one. I might use that again. I don't know. Uh, some lace. Uh, I've got some. I've got a variety of lace. Do you remember these tubs? Yeah, I'll just bring that in. Yeah. Well, they're out again and all the goodies contained therein and a paper clip which we're using in fact i've yeah i've used the paper clip and the bulb clip you don't have to i just happen to have done right so i'm going to start off by tearing a piece of music paper the appropriate length from a paper clip so this is i don't know how these get fixed together that's uh, my two inch silver paper clip. So I'm just going to put my paper clip on the paper. Let's move that right away. And I want a little bit of paper clip sticking out either side as per this one. So I'm going to tear that one just under the second lot of writing. And I'm going to be careful because this, this is vintage music paper it's quite i don't know how old this is there's a stamp on but nowhere on this 
did it have a copyright? And I've just noticed a stamp now that I never sold before. This copy may only be sold within the British Commonwealth. I mean, I know there's still a British Commonwealth, but I don't know why that would be. Oh, and it's five, it would cost 5D. Do you know I might make something out of that cover? Now I've used all the paper within. Anyway, I digress. Off on yet another tangent. So, I've ripped my paper. Can you see it's going to cover it? And I like to have that wider bit of paper clip at the top and narrow bit at the bottom. I just do. I don't know why. You could have it either way. It's a matter of preference. So I'm going to slide that in there and I'm just going to and yeah I'm just going to turn that bit over just like that so that when I start wrapping it's not going to slide off and I don't mean uh, <laughs> musical wrapping I mean paper wrapping that'd be good wouldn't it no I think I'll give wrapping a big wide berth I learnt through making the others, I've, I've wrapped it a few times, then it is going to be wide enough for me to put one of my little butterflies on. I think that's enough. I'm going to rip it. I do like our old paper rips much better. And then I'm going to stick that down. I don't know what, um, I'm going to use my Kalal for this. Do you know when I've mucked up a video and I come to film it again, I then can't remember if I've said things earlier in this in the video or in the one that never made it. So I do apologise if I repeat myself or don't explain things at all. Oh dear. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was yes, it was the other video. I was saying, as far as the glue goes, I'm gonna move that because I don't want bits of glue on it. I find it much easier to remember why I use something than what to use sometimes, especially with glues. I'm just rubbing all that off. If I remember what I want, the properties I want in the glue, that's how I choose my glue. So for this one, I wanted it not to wrinkle my paper. I wanted it to stick pretty quickly. And yeah, that was it. Here we go. So we've got paper on that one now. What am I going to put on it now? Do you not know? I did these last two pretty similar, so I think I might go a bit different with this one. Ooh. I might put some different lace on. I've got loads of lace out that I didn't use. I might try some of this lace this time. Oh, I do like that. We could have like a frill at the bottom yeah yeah and a bit of washi mm. i'm going to use a different color washi i think as well let me get my little washi tub another rummage that's the floral one i used last time uh yeah i, I do have some i'm getting another washi tub out now says me i'm going to use stuff on my desk yeah right i'm now into a tub of washi I can't find the one I wanted. That means I've lost it or used it. Can't remember which. Oh, that's a different floral one, isn't it? I'll, t I'll get that out in case I want to use it. Hmm, what else? My wash is a bit boring. I bought a little box, uh, like nature theme ones. Do I know where they are? Do I, Eck? Why would I know what I've done with them? Oh yeah, it's got more green in that other floral one, hasn't it? I'm going to get this ticket one out as well. Might use ticket one, might not. But I like how you can still see the music paper through when you use this. Do you know what? I'm going to use this floral one with bits of green and it's got, oh, it's got a butterfly on. Wowzer, that means I've fulfilled my butterfly requirement with my washi tape. Terrific. So if I can't fit one of them little gems on, that means I don't have to. Hey, can you see that? Yeah, it's got a little pink butterfly on. Ooh, do I want that to end up at the front? I think I might do. Is 
He's a bit wide. He's on, isn't he? I'd say he's on. Right, there you go. I'm just going to rip that. Oh, rip a bit more off. There you go. I've got my butterfly on Fiona. Sorted. We're going to end up with more than one butterfly on now. And I'll rip that off again. Because I don't want to waste any. I'm going to put that bit. You know, I could put another bit down here, couldn't I? And then put the lace onto it. Yeah. I'm going to put two strips of washi on here. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, that can come round. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got two lots of washi on top of the music paper. So we've got that layered look. I went and made this one with big one at the bottom anyway, so it really don't matter. I'm just going to come in and ink the edges. I'm sliding it up a bit to get to the edges. So I'd wrapped it tight enough it wouldn't slide. But it don't matter. It's not going to move anywhere when I get something on the top and the bottom. So let me get my recipe out again. Music paper, tick. Do you remember the last one where I was frantically searching for a place to put ribbon? Butterfly, tick. Washi, tick. Paper, hey, we're doing well here. All I'm missing is lace, and I've only done that. Ooh. So basically, as long as I get some lace on here, I can do what I want. So I've decided I want the lace at the bottom. Oh, yes, I do. I quite like that. And I'm going to, I think, put my lace on with my Kalau. Not Kalau. Yeah, wish I could speak. Cosmic Shimmer. If I leave things in their own bottles, I can read the bottles, can't I? I think what I need to do is put the original bottles in front of me so I can refer back to them. What have I done? I've not put lid on. And I've only just been using this. Get a pin, woman, get a pin. And then when you've used it, put it back in and leave it there. There we go. That's cleared that. So, yeah, let's... I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on here for the first part of the lace. But then I'm going to, like, overlap the lace so you won't see that glue. That's quite pretty, this lace. Which way around do I want it that way? Yeah, so then I'm going to wrap it around my clip. <clears throat> have a drink. I've got a drink and forget to have it. There we go. I think I've cracked it now with this dry throat when videoing business. Yeah, you need a sucky sweet and a cuppa. Right, so that's that. Really. I need to pull that a bit tighter and I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the back of this overlap piece it dries clear this glue anyway and it is on the back of this now to hold that I'm going to use my trusty bulldog clip while that glue sets now we're going to choose what we're going to put on the bottom Ooh, do you know, I could fit another butterfly on. Do you know, I'm quite happy that that video didn't turn out as planned because it now gives me the opportunity to use a few more bits. I'm just going to start rummaging like you do. I have some butterflies somewhere. Yeah, I do. Did I get them out? Yes, here they are. My little flutterbys. I could dangle a butterfly off bottom, couldn't I? Yeah. I could. Right, let's get, let's choose a butterfly. These were from BB Craft. <laughs> I'm not going to go on about them again. I do a good advert for them, don't I? But yeah, this wasn't as part of their YouTube program. I just bought these because I wanted them. Oh, I like, oh, I like that one. It's like, got a check to him. But I might need a bigger one. So I'm going to get a selection of these little butterflies out. Oh, that one 
is a bead butterfly. They're both bead butterflies. Oh, wowza. Oh, no. Not today. <laughs> I'm thinking other things now I can do. Oh, I like that one. I really ought to use more charms. I'm a bit of a charm collector. It's terrible. I need a charm. I buy 100. <laughs> it's that book by mentality again. I think, yeah, I've got three out now to play with, that's all I need. I've got my little uh, findings kit again, because we are going to need to do a jump ring, which you should be very good at doing now, having watched my expert tutorial the other day, yeah. I think that tutorial, uh, I think what you need to take from that tutorial is it's possible even if you're not really sure what you're doing. Right, there we have that. Oh yeah, oh lovely, I love it already. This is going to be so much easier than a bead dangle if you're making them from scratch. I'm going to grab a jump ring. I'm going to go for my medium one, I think. Yeah, because my eyes won't do small. It's cracking on in there now. I'll get my pliers, me. I think they're different to what I used the other day, but it don't matter. My pointy pliers and my round nose pliers. So, do you know I've managed to get two butterflies on? I'm going to use two types of pins. And if I put another sparkly butterfly on, that'll be three, won't it? Wowza. I think that's the brief cupboard. I think that's what you'd call belt and braces, isn't it, Fiona? There we go. Oh, I've put him on back to front. How rubbish was that? <laughs> if butterflies face it the wrong way, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to open my jump ring one more time. I can cope with that. And then I'll swap him round. Tell you what, let's open it where I can take just the butterfly off. I'm even in shot, yeah. I'm getting used to which bits of my desk you can see now. So I'm just going to take the Mr. Flutterby off. And turn him around. Because I want him facing front. I don't want to be stuck in a journal with his face. Squished up page and didn't even get to see daylight when you open it up, does it? That's better. We've got the side with the butterfly on and he's facing that way. So this really is going to be a butterfly city, isn't it, when I put this on? So, I, th I think I want to put the blingy bit on the lace. Do you know, I don't even think I need the blingy bit on that. I really don't. Let me put a bulb clip on and see how I feel then. Right, have I tidied my bulb clips up? Are my bulb clips the one things I tidied? I think I popped them in my bling jar. Let's have a little bit of a scatter. Ooh. Yeah, I carried on after my bead dangle video and made some more. I even made some, I used some earring wires to make some a bit longer. Got loads of earring wires. Probably only made half a dozen pairs of earrings in my life. My bulb clips just aren't in there. I'm going to have to get the tub back out. But it was a good excuse to show you all this yumminess, wasn't it? Yeah. Now the yumminess is going to go up there, out of the way. Grab your bulb pins. I'll grab a couple. I'm thinking I want to make a giant one of these. Yeah, I do. So, just pop my bulb pin there. Do you know how quiet? That was so quick, wasn't it? So quick and easy. I was just lucky that I got the butterfly on the washi tape at the top. And you can put that. It can go on a tag, a journal card, the outside of your journal. I like to put fabric pockets in my journals and pin things on. If I 
if I'd done one of the just side pockets, I'd probably pin that on the inside. Let's bring the others back in what I did. I could have end up with quite a collection of these pretty quick. Does that need bling? Do you know? I don't think that one does. Is it that one? That was the one that inspired me to make these. The green one. So he's got a bead dangle. They have, and that's got a butterfly. I want to make another. I do, and you know what? I'm going to make a giant one. I want to make a giant one of these with one of my giant paper clips. So I'm going to get one. We've only got about four giant ones left. I'm going to grab my music paper again. Anyway, so that's everything you need to know. If uh, you've had enough, bye bye. Oh. There you go. I'm just I'm gonna do the same thing in giant. Yeah. We're gonna call it a Digby paper clip. How much paper do I need? I think down to about there. So I'm gonna put them in a rip. Let's have a look see. This is gonna be one wowser sized alter paper clip right put it in right way this time woman if you want the big one at the bottom oh this is gonna be good that's you don't have to get that really straight it's just so that when you start wrapping your paper it doesn't start have you ever tried putting wrapping paper back on roll when you've un accidentally unwrapped it all and you keep wrapping it it just keeps going round and slipping around center core because it's not anchored yeah, well, we're just trying to prevent that. There we go. We don't need to put extra on this just so that it is wide enough for anything. But I, I want it to be quite firm. I suppose I could have wrapped something else under this. So I weren't using as much music paper, but hey-ho, I've done it now. So that's that. Come in again with my Kalal. Remembered name. Didn't she do well? I keep constantly checking my phone now to make sure it's not run out of storage. And I know it hasn't. I've got gigabytes to spare now. Gigabytes. Gigabytes. I was thinking about my the first ever computer I bought back in the 90s. Well, the first PC, should we say. Before the computer, I'd had an Amiga. Does anyone ever... Well, there's not a lot of ladies out there remember Amigas. But then my first PC, it cost me £1,500 for the package I remember it with a PC and a printer and your mouse and your keyboard and it was from tiny computers in the UK and ooh, <laughs> one of my boxes slipped and made me jump and I'm sure the hard drive was so many megabytes I really am but I think that were back before you really got many pictures on the internet wasn't it right that's that that should have beheld now. I'll craft and talk. But I'm just loving that. It's like his big cousin, isn't it? So what should we put on here? I think it needs some blingier, nicer. Hmm. Should we make this one with some really wide washi tape as well? I've got this one with insects on again. I love that butterfly, but we're not going to see it all, are we? Mm. But it's going to be a waste of these. I like to cut these off one insect at a time and put them at the bottom of pages in my nature journals. I'm going to stick to my floral because I like it. This time I'm going to go for this. So this isn't really part of your challenge, Fiona, so <laughs> we don't have to follow the recipe. I've made that 
overlap, haven't I? I'm going to rip that. You know, I'm just going to be very free and very just slap it on. I only want one layer on the front because then we can see the writing through. Mm, I'm quite liking this. I'm not even worrying about whether things are totally straight. I think I'm actually turning into a proper junk journaler. Not that there's such a thing as a proper junk journaler. I mean in terms of I'm not worrying about everything being too spot on and lined up. I like that, but I need more lace. I need something blingier. I'm wanting to turn it into a big boho bead. I think that's because I watched Tracy Fox's video this morning doing giant boho bead type things on old pencils. It's making me want to wrap extra round, but I think it does want some eyelash trim on this one. Can we get away with putting it all the way up? That just looks, I don't know, I think that's made it, that's just made it way too furry. I don't like it. I just want some thicker, nicer, blingier lace. What about this? Oh, I like that. That would be good around it. Yes. Well, I could actually just, I could put that all the way down. No, because that's covering that lovely washi tape up. I'm just going to put some around the bottom. So I'm not uh, wrestling with a giant row. I'm going to cut a bit off. Yeah. Yeah, like that. He needs to go. We need some on back. Oh, do we? Do you know what? I'm just going to cut. I've done this before. Cut one piece off and stick it on. Yep, that's all it needs. I think it'll make it too chunky if I go putting that all the way around bottom. And underneath that, I think I'm going to go for some of that white lace. The really thin white lace, because that looks really good. Thin white lace, where are you? I've covered it up with music paper and instructions. and I think it's just disappeared. I love my desk. There it is. I'd only got a bit of it out. That was my problem. I'd not got enough out. See? If I'd have got more out, I'd have found it easier. Oh, yes. I, re I just really like that lace over that washer. So. Yeah. I'm going to put some of this glue on the back, which is my Cosmic Shimmer. Yes, uh, I agree with Tanya at Tata Treasure now. Once you put your, co your Cosmic Shimmer into a tiny bottle, or as she's done, she's decanted her Cosmic Shimmer into a used art glitter bottle. I can't tell the difference. It seems to do the same. So I'm putting that over there. I don't mind having too much glue on this first layer because I'm going to wrap it around the paper clip and glue this back onto itself like that can you see yeah as you would have seen <laughs> in my deleted video I can't believe I did that what a wally utter wally I'm going to use my big ball tool I find that good for things like this sometimes I think I need to cut this off and then I need to put my bulldog clip on it to make it stick. I need some more of them bulldog clips. I only have the one in that size. And guess what? I've lost it. Of course I've lost it. Why would I have put my bulldog clip somewhere where I could find it? When I'm zoomed in now, it's just, you can't even see my rummaging, can you? Where's my bulldog clip going? I need to get some of those little plastic clips. Found it. Here we go. I just, I think it's a symptom of being a bit lazy. Can't be bothered to unclip loads of clips. That's it. Once that's started to set and it gets tackier, it wants to stay where you put it. 
but I'm just going to put my bulldog clip on for two seconds now this is huge isn't it it's huge so we want something a little bit more substantial on the bottom and I did make some rather huge oh look at that one I love that one oh and I left that yeah I used some of those bead end caps on there it's not it's not perfect is it it's not tightest in well but it does its job I think that's going to be big enough <clears throat> I don't think I've got a bigger pink themed one I love that oh there's that one no I like the one with the bead caps on better put that one away for another time yeah is that yeah that's stuck enough that's fine oh look at that I like that everything's giant isn't it it's much better you know if you've got dodgy eyes to make a larger one or something um, do I use I'm gonna use the medium jump ring I think that big one's just taking it a bit too far mind you know it isn't it really is within keeping of the size of that paper clip so grab my little pliers and pull this see Fiona did uh, describe this much better You're twisting it open I can't believe when I went to watch Fiona's video she'd done well it weren't, she'd not done the exact same thing at all but we both decided to do dangles and play with jump rings it's funny that you might think we'd decided it we hadn't oh look at, I'm loving this I'm loving the giantness of this oh look you know I measured the other one this one's yeah Gonna be, well it's going to be longer isn't it what a mm, daft thing to say yeah I measured that one and this one oh it's going to be longer of course it is paper clips twice size so I want a bit, a bit of where's my bit of bling on do you know I don't even know if I want to put this on now here it is you know I cut that off to front bottom oh I do now I've seen it I do yeah and I want to put butterflies on it yeah we'll put you on right I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac for this don't use Fabri-Tac very often do I <laughs> I use it that infrequent I can't find it so guess what I'm going to use three in one instead I've got two bottles of three in one sat on my desk ready for thinning down so yeah let's, I'm going to shake this off camera because you have to be quite vigorous with it that one since I've used it I thought my lid was fused on then right so I'm going to blob some of this directly onto the back of my little piece of bling which way around is it going to go that way because I'm not really sure that anything else will hold this I think this might I've gone so thick it's a news bone it's coming it's coming out but yeah I think this little bling's just gonna a little bit of bling's just gonna add something to it I like this blingy lace ribbon whatever it is there we go trusty bulldog clip on the job yeah and I'm going to put a butterfly on that because I do like these butterflies on these I love these they're like it's a collection of if you've not seen them there's like there's your beads and your bling and there's like some kind of I don't know what it is you know if you've read <laughs> you ever read one of those bras with invisible straps it's, it's, it seems to be that kind of oh yeah my kids are home and again I've just jumped out of my skin what is it with me still doing my video still doing my video yeah my kids kindly did the post office run for me today 
So we may video messing up or a bit behind. The 14 now they can do that for me. Right, so yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. So they are all fastened together, but the thing they're fastened together with is completely and utterly transparent. Right. I'm not putting extra glue on these. They don't seem to fall off. Oh, I really like that now. Can you see? I think you can see this better if I put it on the table. Yeah. We've got our little blingy bling. So, I think I could just carry on making these forever, but the video would be like three hours long. So I think I might make carry on making some when I've turned the camera off. You've seen me make a couple now. You know what you're doing. Oh, I'll just grab another pin for that. Yeah, I'm very disorganised. Because my video <laughs> didn't turn out. I'm all at sixes and sevens. Very strange. And I am a very jumpy person. Years ago, I used to go to the cinema with my best friend, Cathy. We used to watch two films, one after the other. And I don't know... We used to like horror films. We had one of those passes, you know, where you could watch as many films as you want in a month. And I quite often used to jump and throw popcorn. <laughs> That's how bad I am. So yeah, horror film with popcorn thrower. Right, we've got our bulb clip on all these now. I'm quite happy with that. I've got quite a little collection going off now, haven't I? Can you see them? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to try and zoom in. See if it works. While I'm... Oh, wow. I did it. Let's bring it over. Yeah. So, there we go. That's the one that fulfills the crack and those two. And and that one actually. Yeah, it's got lace on as well. So I'm really happy with those. Altered pa wrapped paper clips to use as little charms in your journals. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.